here we go again with the nipple is showing because the material is so thin look at how big this thing is pretty little thing come on do better and it's good quality it's not those thin cotton ones so this is definitely worth the money this is not a size four. it could fit a whole nother person in this shirt Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all well. If you're new, hello, welcome. My name is Tashika Bailey. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. It only takes two seconds and it's free. So make sure you do that and join the family. Also, make sure you hit that notification bell that's right next to the subscribe button so you don't miss a video from me. If you are returning, thank you so much for watching this video. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't as yet, girl, because I see y'all. In today's video, I'm going to be doing another pretty little thing holiday try on haul. This is actually going to be the last one that I'm doing. This one's mostly clothing items. So I got a lot of crop tops, a lot of little dresses, you know, unitards, batty riders and all of that because it is a beach holiday. So I'm trying to get the lightest materials and just you know the prettiest looking clothes that's not quite heavy so like little crop tops they're not too heavy so I'm trying to get more items like that at this point I feel like I've gotten all the clothes that I need for this holiday and if I buy anything else my suitcase is literally going to be packed to the brim and overweight and when I get to the airport they're going to hit me with some large bill because I'm going to have too much stuff so you know this is going to be the last haul and let me stop chatting now and get straight into it because I know your girl likes to talk but yeah, let's get straight into the haul. The first item I picked up is this orange unitard. I got it in a size 4 and it was £15. I really love the fit of this unitard and I love the colour as well. This is actually my first unitard. I haven't worn any of them before. And I really love the material of it. It's really, really thick. Like, it feels like it's made out of some good quality material. But it's a bit see-through, even though it's thick. I don't know if you guys can see, but... I mean, in person, it's a bit see-through, so I can see my underwear straps literally through this. It's very supportive, it's very figure-hugging, and what I really love about this unitard is this bit right here, the plunge detail that it has going on. The only thing that I don't like about this is this bit right here, like the extra padding. It's not even padding, it's just extra material that it has inside of it. It gives it a... A random shape like this which I don't really know why it's there but apart from that I really really like the unitard I love the color I can't wait to wear this on holiday it fits really really well and it gives that booty some lift and it's actually quite cheap you know 15 pounds is not too bad and it's good quality it's not those thin cotton ones so this is definitely worth the money Ooh. next up I have this white rib spaghetti strap crop top and I love the crop top so much it's a very thin material as you guys can see like it's so thin my nipples are showing through <laughs> but you know I'm going on with this I don't need anything that is too thick I also love the fact that it is ribbed so it's not plain and it's not completely smooth I love the straps that it has going on it just looks so minimal and so effortless you can just pair it with some batty riders or some cycling shorts or something like that and you're good it's an outfit i also got this denim skirt you can see right here i got it in a size 4 of course and it was 22 pounds i love the color of it so so much but i don't like the fact that it's not high waisted so these are low riders and it's supposed to be a mini skirt but on me it's quite long i think it's quite long like my mini skirt is up here but for me it's a little bit long although i love the color and i also love the distressed detail that it has going on here you can see it has some distressed detail here and the bottom of it has some frilling going on i really like the detail i wish that it was high waisted because as you can see if i put it up to be high waisted it's just really big around my waist and it doesn't fit properly so i might send it back let me know what you guys think of this skirt, if you think I should just keep it and wear it anyways or if you think that I should return it and get something else that will suit my body shape a lot better. I also picked up this white halter neck play suit, I got it in a size 4 and it was £12. I love the tassel details that it has going on here, it just looks so cool and playful and obviously it's a play suit so you know, 
playful vibes. I love the color of it, but I don't like the fact that it's quite see-through. As you can see again, with these white material from Pretty Little Thing, it's very see-through. You can see my nipples coming through and guys, you can literally see my underwear through this material. You can't see it on camera, I don't think you can, but I can definitely see it in person. But I'm just going to accept that because this is a holiday like section, it's from the holiday section, so everything must be see-through, everything must be sheer and everything must be thin. I don't know why, but I'm just gonna accept that. I love how short it is, but I love the fact that it actually covers my mum. So if you're going on holiday and you want to twerk, if it is a twerk holiday, you're definitely gonna need one of these because it is twerkable, you know, you can get that. So I picked up this red spaghetti strap crop top in a size four and it was six pounds, so it's quite cheap. I like the crop top a lot. I love the material of it, it's quite thick and I actually prefer, prefer I actually prefer it as opposed to the white crop top that I showed you guys earlier, the ribbed one. This one's a lot better, the material is like better quality. It feels a lot better and it's more stretchy as well. So if you're a size 6 then this would definitely fit you because it's a size 4 and it's very stretchy. The ribbed one is so thin, the material is see-through, I mean this one is a little bit less see-through so you're not seeing all my areola, you know. This one, yeah, this one's just much better. There's nothing to complain about and I love the scoop net detail that it has going on. So yeah, this is another white item that I picked up from Pretty Little Thing. I didn't get any black items. I literally decided to get white, reds, colours because, you know, it's holiday, it's a hot country and I want to have bright coloured outfits. So this is a white shorts that I picked up from Pretty Little Thing, size 4, and it was £12. I love this thing that it has here that you can tie it and just have it dangling or you can tie it in a bow if you really wanted to. What I also love about this is that the waistline, it has elastic so it snatches your waist in. This will definitely fit you. Also, this thing here is removable so you don't have to wear it with it. You can remove it if you want to. You can add a little bum bag around it or you can just wear it like this. The only thing that I don't like about these shorts is that the material, because it is white, is quite see-through. I don't know if you guys can see my underwear through it, but if you saw me in person then you would definitely be able to see them. I don't know why all white material and pretty little thing tends to be see-through. I love for them to try and explain it to me because I don't know why they can't just have high quality material in white as well, along with you know the reds and the blues and all the other colours. It's not that difficult. Please, pretty little thing, we need white clothes that are not see-through. So here I've got the Violet Bardot crop top. I got it in a size 4 and this was £6. The thing that I don't like about this is that the material is really stretchy. So look at this. Like you can literally fit this top if you're a size 8 or a size 10. This is not even a size 4. Like, who are you kidding? Who are you kidding? Look at this top. Look at all this room. Like it could fit a whole nother person in this shirt. It's a size four pretty little thing. It's a size four. Because I don't think so. I'm definitely going to send this back because I feel like it's just going to fall off me if I wear it. Do you know what I mean? Like I can't wear this. This is a smaller size. <sighs> okay, pretty little thing. Okay. Okay, we're six pounds, so I'm not mad. I'm just gonna send it back, get my coins back, and get another top. Okay. I also picked up these denim shorts. They were 18 pounds, and I got it in a size four. These are very distressed, but they're not all the way up in your butt crack. It does cover my bum, which I really like. I love the distressing detail that it has going on. So here you can see it has a nice ripped detail on the front. It's very, very distressed, but I love it. It just looks so nice. They also decided to, to go and bust up the crotch area as well for some reason. I'm not mad at it. I like it. It looks cool. And it actually does cover my bum cheeks, you know, so that's good. Most of them don't, most of them have that distressing all the way here and all of that, but these are really nice, it feels really good and it fits my waist, as you can see. So I got this bum bag, yeah, I've never bought a bum bag before, and I've got this one, because I'm thinking, okay, if I'm on holiday and, you know, I'm going to 
tourist places then I'm gonna need something where I'm not carrying bags but I'm gonna need something for my hotel key for my money you know all that stuff so I got this little bag I think it's quite small though but they tricked me because I was like no nah, this is so tiny and then I realized that it has all these extra pockets so it has one here at the front it has another one here this is the main one and then it has another one here at the side where you can put the keys in uh, I'll just close it, okay and now it's open so you can put keys in this one you can put some coins in this one you can put something at the front and then there's another one at the side as well so at first I was a bit mad and I was like why is it so small but now I'm a bit like okay it's quite big it has a different compartments that I can put things in and it fits around my belt as well the only thing I don't like it it drops like this but I think it looks quite cool but like I'd like it to stay up but I think it looks cool like that like intentional even though it's not but nobody has to know this bum bag was also eight pounds so that was quite cheap and because i'm going obviously on a beach holiday i'm going to be in the water a lot in the pool in the beach you know i decided to get leather because hopefully like the water don't go through it i know it's not waterproof but it's better than having material that's just going to get soaked straight through so i've got this leather material so you know it'll prevent the water from going through for a bit until i realize and get out the water but yeah, like it's, it's a good bag. Here I'm wearing the basic white Bardo crop top. I got this in size 4 and it was £6. So it was very cheap, but in white. And here we go again with the nipples showing because the material is so thin for some reason. If it's white, it's thin. That's a pretty little thing for you. I paired that with these orange paper bag waist shorts. I like the color of these shorts so much. I love how bright they are. And I love the fact that they also have these tie things. As you can see, I'm really into this like tying material because you know it's good if you have a small waist like me so you're able to adjust it to your own size. But the thing that shocked me with these is that it has these elastic things here in the waist. So these tiny things are not really needed so oh wait no i can't remove them they're attached not like the white pairs but you can actually remove the white things these ones can't be removed unfortunately so i literally i'm forced to wear it with this and the way i like to style it is by tying it to the side like this i think that is really flattering on my figure and it looks better than just tying it dead in the middle so if you tie it dead in the middle it's going to look like this which is a bit like like what are you doing like no so I like to tie it at the side I actually quite like the material of this it's quite thick but it's not too thick so it's suitable for holiday I love the paper bag waist that it has going on and the fact that it has this stretchy material here I'm wearing the basic red one shoulder crop top and I paired it with the black hot pants I got this crop top in size 4 somebody please tell me why it's huge please please explain to me why it's so big listen the stretch the stretch that this top has i've got the smaller size yeah size 4 and it's either it's too big or it's see-through this could literally fit a size 10 person look at how big this thing is pretty little thing come on do better do better i can't wear this I got these hot pants, they're black denim shorts, they fit like literally almost, almost perfectly, it's just got a little bit of booty hanging out the bottom of them as you can see, I can literally feel the booty hanging out the bottom, like the breeze and everything that I'm going to be getting in these shorts, but you know, I'm not going to return them because they fit my waist perfectly, a pretty little thing, that's what I'm talking about. These are size 4, they're £15 and I love the distressing detail that it got that it has going on right here. I'm really into like distressed detailed shorts at the moment. I also picked up this slinky bardo long sleeved crop top in size 4. I got it obviously in a white colour and this material surprisingly is not as see through. It's a little bit thicker. Oh, it was £8 by the way, I didn't say that. It's stretchy but you know this bit here it has elastic so it really holds in place so it's definitely not going to move as you can hear like it snatches 
in place so it's not gonna like fall off me like the red top was doing this one is a lot more secure the material is a lot more thicker and it's just made with like the right material maybe it's because it was eight pounds which is why they felt a little bit bougie <laughs> It found you know I like the top and I'm gonna keep it. I feel like I don't really need it though on holiday because I'm going to a very hot country and I mean long sleeve crop top why like it would be perfect without the long sleeve but I do like the sleeve so I'm gonna keep it. I got this baby blue frilled edge crop top in a size 4 and I'm gonna put it on right now for you guys to see. It's basically the same as this but okay the material I can already feel that it's going to be big. I can already feel it. So when it comes to Bardo crop tops, I've realised that I really need to buy the ones that have the elastic material in the neck of the crop top because with these ones, I mean, it's not big. I thought it was big, but it's not big. But I really like it to have that, you know, security when I'm wearing it because with this, it's a little bit flimsy. It's just so flimsy. like. This bit, it just seems like, why is it here? Because this bit is really tight. The sleeves are so tight. If I, okay, if I was, I was gonna say if I got a size down, but I'm already the smallest size that there is. So there is no size down. With this one, the sleeve is so tight, it's literally suffocating my arms. If I got a size two, let's say if there was one in this top, I would literally wouldn't be able to get inside of it because the sleeves are just so tight already on this one. But I feel like a size 2 would be perfect for my chest area, like I have all this extra material right here that I don't need, it's just not necessary. Maybe I could do like a cute little bow. Um, okay, it kind of looks better, but I don't like it, like it looks better but I don't like it. I like the shape that it has going on with the neckline but I don't like, like, but I could see myself rocking it, like I could wear it because it's nice and different. Should I keep it? I don't know. Should I keep it? I could walk, rock it like this, right? I could definitely rock it like this. I like it so much and I love the colour of it. I love the rib detail that it has going on and the material is not too thin so you're not seeing like my nipples through it. So yeah, I do like it and it looks nice with the shorts as well. Probably keep it but I don't, I doubt it's going to stay up like this. But yeah, I just feel like it has too much material that's not needed. <sighs> what do you guys think? Should I keep it or should I return it? Let me know in the comments below. I picked up this white denim jacket and oh my gosh, how's it got makeup on it already? I just took it out the wrapper, like I don't understand. I don't even have makeup on my hands, but anyways. I got this in a size 6 and what I love about this jacket well, actually, I don't know if I love it yet, but the ruffle detail that it has going on in the shoulder, I just think it's different, like you don't see it on every denim jacket. It's so cool and it's so different. And it's cropped as well. So as you can see, it has a nice cropped detail going on. And it, it's like a sharp crop. It's like a sharp cut, but it's got the what's that thing called the distress detail that it has on the shorts as well basically and i love the silver button that it has so yeah let me try it on for you guys and show you how it fits hopefully it fits nice because if not i'm going to send it back and i know what you guys are thinking you're probably thinking so you're going on a beach holiday why have you got a denim jacket and i literally bought it for the pictures and i'm going to wear it to the airport because it's going to be chilly in october when i'm going so I thought a denim jacket would be really good and I have an outfit in mind that is just going to look banging with this jacket in the summer. Um, why are the sleeves always long for my arms? I quite like it. I really like it, I do. Could it be smaller? Yes, I think it definitely could be. I could have got a size 4 but Usually my jackets I get size 6 because, you know, I don't want it too tight, I want it to have a little bit of room. It could definitely be smaller because I do have a lot of room but I do like it and I'm going to keep it in this size. It's going to be mad on holiday. Like, I'm already hot with all these lights and it's not even that hot outside but 
listen, the outfit is gonna bang, the outfit's gonna look good, this jacket is so nice, I love the silver button detail that it has going on here and as I said the shoulders, it's a ruffle style and I really like that, I think it looks quite cool, quite edgy, you don't really see it a lot, but yeah guys this jacket was £35 so a little bit on the pricey size but for denim it's usually 30 35 40 pounds it's quite expensive so yeah 35 pounds and if you're a student you get your student discount or whenever they have sale you just get your 20 percent discount and you're good like and it looks good it's good quality and it looks good up good up like i was trying to find a denim jacket for so long and i couldn't find any until i went on pretty little thing and you know so the last item that i got from pretty little thing is this powder blue pastel play suit in size 4 and this was literally 30 pounds like it was honestly 30 pounds but i love it like it just looks so nice the tassel on it the only problem that i have with this is that homegirl can't get it on I found that there's a zip like if you zoom right in let me show you guys there's a zip right here yeah on the on the shorts of the play suit so obviously you're supposed to zip it down to put it on but with all these tassels I think that it's just stuck I don't know why it's stuck it won't zip down so I can't put it on like I've been trying to zip it down and I was really excited to see this one on as well but lighting please adjust yourself accordingly I was really excited to see this one on so it's 30 pounds guys and I actually bought it you know I've been buying like five pound items six pound items eight pound items and I bought this for 30 pounds and I can't even get it on I randomly got sent this black bardo crop top you know the one that I got in violet in size 4 that I said was huge I got it in a size 12 I didn't buy this it's not on my receipt but they randomly sent it to me I made the order at midnight so probably they're rushing and they just dash it whatever they saw in the bag but I didn't order this so I don't know why they sent it to me or maybe they're trying to make up for not sending me the bikini bottoms from the last video <laughs> but you know they sent it to me it's not on my receipt what am I supposed to do with it I'm not a size 12 I mean if you're gonna send me free items at least send me size 4 because everything that I ordered is size 4 and then you just randomly added a size 12 top into my order for what? For what? Pretty little thing. I mean, I understand. So I've got a few bits and pieces. It's only like a little bit that I want to show you guys. It's not from Pretty Little Thing. I've got one silver bum bag that I got from New Look and this is $15.99. This is really, really nice. Let me put it on so you guys can see what it looks like. $15.99 is quite expensive, you know, for a bum bag, but I really like the pattern. And with the black bum bag, my mum was like, oh, why is it black? Like, you're going on holiday, you need something a bit more fancy a bit more loud i just got the black one because it's basic and you know you can just wear it and it's leather as well so i know so this is what it looks like on as i said it's from new look it actually still has the padding inside which is why it looks so like puffy and big so let me just remove that so here's what it looks like you know more flatter it looks a lot better now like this and I quite like it. I think it's really, really nice. It's really like holiday esque. So I just wanted to show you guys, even though it's not from Pretty Little Thing. From Primark, I picked up two sets of rings. I got this silver set for £1.50, and it has 10 rings on it. So, yeah, you can layer them up and wear them, you know, in different styles. And I also got the gold pack, which is £2.50, and this is in small. These are really, really nice. Okay, on that note, I'm also going to show you guys the piercings that I've got for my holiday. So, this is a gold, can you see it? It's a gold belly bar that I got from Argos. It was like £50, but it's real gold. It's 9 karat gold. I also decided to get this pack of gold earrings from Argos. This is a set of three. So I got two extra as well. So I can put those in the top part of my ears. I'm going to change this silver earrings here. Add these two and just, it's going to all be gold, you know. And my belly ring as well. So I think that's going to look really, really nice on holiday. And it's real gold, so it's really good. It's going to last for a while. Finally guys, I got my brother to open this play suit, as you can see, 
he zipped it down there was something stuck in it and i wasn't strong enough to pull it down so i got him to open it let's see what it looks like on hopefully it looks as nice as it does i mean to me anyways <laughs> so this is how it looks i love the tassel detail so much it actually looks really really nice on i like the way it looks however it feels like it's choking me like the neckline here it feels like it's literally choking me i don't know why but i really like the color of it and i love the tassels that it has going on i love the low back detail but i'm not gonna lie it is a two-man job like to put it on because you need to tie this one and you also need to tie the neck as well and right now it's just choking the hell out of me but you know let's just pretend like it's not it's literally like a little hot pants a little knickers kind of thing like a swimwear the tassels cover your bum so it kind of looks a little bit more you know classy a little bit more sophisticated i just love it so much i love it and the material is really really nice and oh yeah it was 35 pounds guys 35 pounds it wasn't 30 pounds i lied it was 35 i think it's worth it and i could just see myself looking all cool on holiday this is so nice and just so girly don't you think I know I always buy like the most ridiculous pieces. I don't know who would actually wear this, but I would. Like, if you'd wear this, comment below. calm down just a little bit of cardio this is so nice i love it i love it i love it guys and this concludes the haul that is everything that i've got i hope you enjoyed the haul if you did make sure you give it a thumb up to let me know also make sure that you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell is right next to it don't forget to comment let me know which one of these outfit was your favorite if you'd wear any of them like if you'd wear this or what you like let me know which item you think i should send back or that i should keep it would make it much easier for me to make my decision and yeah thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye